Hi everyone and welcome to IT Acute. Ever pondered the steps to repair windows using commands? Well, the mystery is about to unravel as we delve into the world of SFC and DISM commands. These simple yet powerful tools are a Windows user's secret weapon for troubleshooting and repairing issues. First things first, opening the command prompt is the initial step. Hit the Windows key, type CMD into the search bar, then right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. This will open a black window where the magic starts to happen. System File Checker or SFC is the first tool in our arsenal. This built-in utility is designed to scan and restore corrupted Windows files. To use it, type SFC slash scan now without the quotes and press enter. This command will initiate a full system scan, which might take a while, so patience is key here. Once the scan is complete, any detected issues will be automatically fixed. Next up is the Deployment Image Servicing and Management tool, known as DISM. This utility serves a similar purpose as SFC, but works on a deeper level. DISM can be used to repair the Windows image itself, which is especially useful if SFC fails to fix the problem. To use DISM, simply type DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health without the quotes into the command prompt and hit enter. This command will connect to Windows Update to fix the corruption. It may take some time, so sit back and let DISM do its thing. Now you might be wondering, should I run SFC or DISM first? The answer is run SFC first as it's faster and can fix most common issues. If SFC can't resolve the problem, then it's time to employ DISM. Do SFC and DISM delete anything? No, they don't. They are designed to repair and restore, not to delete. And yes, it's recommended to reboot your system after running these commands. A reboot allows your system to implement the changes and repairs made. In summary, SFC and DISM are powerful tools that can repair Windows files and images. They can be accessed through the command prompt and are used by typing specific commands. SFC should be run first, followed by DISM if necessary. They don't delete anything, but a reboot is recommended after using them. Remember, these commands are your secret tools to troubleshoot and repair. So the next time Windows acts up, you know exactly what to do. That's all for today on SFC and DISM. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also, if you would like to know more about DISM and SFC, simply click on the links below. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to IT Acute for more tech reviews and tips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.